Well, here we are today again at Newmont. Uh, we're showing some different applications of how to install our slate shield in Mansion Slate. Um, specifically, this is tailored towards starting the project on the eaves. This would be your eaves. So we have this method here, which uses our drip edge, our copper plus drip edge, and then that would be you start right in with your slate panel. And you put down your drip edge on your paper, your tiger paw, or whatever the uh, uh, method you want to use. And you put your under ease in, and then be able to right away start with the mansion slate or the slate shield panel right in like that. Now, for those that don't want to opt to use our drip edge with built-in hooks. The alternative method is what we have over here. Now, we have the same basic slates, again with an under eave and a layer of HDPE, then your slates, and we're using a 14 inch slate so we can nail up higher, and then we can start with our traditional either slate shield or mansion slate. So, this would be the mansion slate, the slate shield, we have a layer of hooks, and we have our 14 inch slates, which are punched high. So, we're taking it apart this way, it would be the first thing to, or the last thing to go down, 14 by 10 slates. And then we would install our strip with a butterfly hook, a four inch length on it. Then the HDPE, then our starter slates. So again, to do that, what you normally do is, here's your decking, your paper, like a bar, whatever. You put down your regular under eaves. You would nail those. You're not going to use our drip edge. Now we need a copper nail right here, two spots up high. And we would put our layer of HDPE right down to the edge. And then you would place this particular strip that we make specifically for this. On top, that would be nailed with our divided nail, nail from the nail gun, right in the eyelet of each one of these hooks. We then take your 14 inch slates, which are punched high, as you'll notice. Those go right on here. It will be nailed by hand, again, with your copper nails. You go across the roll like that, that way you have that profile that shows from the ground the two pieces of slate, which is what you like to see when you look up at your ears, this type of profile. One slate upside down and the other this way, and then together it's kind of like a clamshell, so it gives a nice finished look. This allows you to do that. So then you would put the 14 inch slates down. They would be nailed individually, again, traditionally on top. Then from there, you can either use a mansion slate, single, or if you're using our slate shield, which is the panel and the slate separate, you take your panel, that goes down right here. And from that point, slate switch. Nail that up here, you nail gun nails, again, then you slate the shit in here like this. Your next panel would then fit right into here. The slates would go on, again, nailing with your nail gun right up to your ridge. So, again, to reiterate, if you're not going to use our drip edge with the hooks, which we think is faster and probably one of the ways that uh, most people are using, but again, if you're in part of the country that doesn't want a drip edge, you can get a built-in gutter or something of that nature, and it doesn't make sense for you to use our product there, you do it this way. You start with your roofing paper, and your starter slate, your HDPE, then our 14 that we, did, we, that we will provide with the package, your strips, and then start with your other next layer of mansion slates or slate sheets. But obviously, if you have any questions, we have our videos also that you can see uh, the installation with. Always also feel free to give Newmont Slate and me a call 
answer any of your questions, glad to send you anything we have, and uh, give you a follow-up on it. So again, have a great Christmas season. Bob from Newmont, Patrick, and my buddy Brian, who isn't here today, all say Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Thank you.